My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions, potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I'll I could learn a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Mr. Serene? Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. <laughs> I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved, but his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages, the location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time the location where my fate was sealed six years ago. How long until the Corps is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. decision on how to proceed with the witness. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody's sneaking around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! 
Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses, it would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait, no! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Time's up. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured. Unconscious. Well, uh, <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? I'm sleepwalking. Step away right now. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> Wilder assisted you in some manner? Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Well, that 
That's weird. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Monarch had bought out the entire industrial district for their operation. Focus It'd make for an easy escape. Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the air, the whole city will be looking for him. He'll have nowhere to turn. He'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. Hey, what's Reaper Squad doing with those video cameras up in A3? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media is gonna latch to that, and Amy is gonna tell him the protesters were behind the whole thing. It's him! The voice is here! This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's got to be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. Okay. Looks like that elevator needs power. There we go. The hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks? If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. 
My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. Now, Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find... We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Take this through. was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. I did what you said, okay? Please, please just let me go. You did good, Amy. Broadcast just went out. But Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. Please. I didn't do it. <laughs> Jack Joyce. Wait, you know me? What's going on? I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. <sighs> oh, I knew Monarch had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. Locked. Uh, okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. That can be fixed. I think you need to get to this side of the gate somehow. Jack, you need to get to this side somehow. Oh my god! You're just... You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These... geared up soldiers that... Blink in and out. Okay. Uh, something to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. All right, my brother tried to explain. Time is an egg which is now fucked. A time egg, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken or locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? 
Yeah, that should work. Wait here. Okay, well, I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes to the pancakes. So everyone thinks that Monarch is run by this smarmy asshole named Martin Hatch. So Paul founded Monarch. Need to get up to that open window. <clears throat> yeah, that window's pretty high up, but I think it's the only way in. Do you think you can get in through there? The window, Jack. What do you think? Is that another one of those important things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. All right, that's it. Made it. Now to get to that door.
Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for Say, Clarice. Say you. This is HQ Alpha. Charlie, I told you the operations general. Good work. I need to make this right. I'm gonna use the terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. I'm so sorry, Jack. They forced me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. Terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you figure out a route. To speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay, stay in contact. Find a radio, I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah, you too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Shotgunner advancing on hostile!
okay out there? Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Security. Uh oh. Jack, we're coming your way. is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this...
Jack? Yeah. I did some digging. This Cronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure. But it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university. Sophia Amaral. Monarch's resident Cronon scientist. Well, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. Elevator. Jack, I found Dr. 
documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight? Tonight? After everything that's happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big-shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? Okay. Hello, okay. Looks like the trailer this has power now. In for Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack? Don't be so stupid. Jesus! Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Can't take a wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of our It's that guy from the university!
Advancing! tried to stop it. you what he did in that workshop at ground zero no never he hid that part of his life from me nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there 
And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. It's the only way for that. Absolutely no entry. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What is this? <clears throat> what the hell, hell? What, is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? Specifically requested copper clad niobium. Well. There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from. It surrounded me. A puzzle. Trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant. His career. Obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there... It never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. Please, Please don't do don't this. Do this. Countermeasure. I hope I to hope God, God this works. This works. Will. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible don't to crack. question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon Syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful.
Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you. Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Stutters were getting bad. He's shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did.
Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Then shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. My ride, my music. Deal with it. Who the fuck are you people? What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall, the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Mater doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. This is weird. Huh. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? I'll check the license plate on my phone and see if anything comes up, but I mean, it's a long shot.
Hey, I think I found a way in. aren't going away. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. No wonder you were always coming up with crazy shit. $12,000 moving bill. Okay, May 17th, Must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some this old boxes. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse. Surely, in order. Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sednak here, filling in for Bobby Riverport. About to brighten your day with some good news. The victim wounded during a terrorist attack on Riverport Any luck in there? Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire process is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. July 4th, 2010. Holy shit. I'm addressing this video to you. What was that? Stay away from my workshop. You recorded that for me in 2010? back to get it. The entire what the fuck? Is a disaster zone. The countermeasure. So the countermeasure is gone? Taken. Oh, shit. It's not good. Safe. We need to figure empty. this out. Just Let's keep looking. You have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. Help me push this out of the way. Nothing. You know where to find me. Please. <clears throat> Jack. Your brother addressed that video to me, but, but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <sighs> but I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Hey. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. 
Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurred. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? <clears throat> A round thing in the middle. Think. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will was leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate. Here goes nothing. Final step. I need to set up the machine first. <sighs> There's a light blinking here. Might be what you're looking for. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. Thank God. Um, is that supposed to do that? Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine and he left it in the trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. Let's just hope it still works. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. This is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video in your Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. 